eight signs you have caused a narcissistic injury. The narcissist experiences a narcissistic injury when their ego has been bruised. When they feel less valuable or important. When something affects their sense of worth. The larger their ego is, the more at risk it is of being bruised. When they're entertaining their delusions of grandeur, that is actually when they are most vulnerable. Narcissists are very sensitive people. They always have to be right. They always have to be in control. So it is actually very easy to cause a narcissistic injury. You may find yourself walking on eggshells. You may become extremely cautious of your words and actions when you are around them because you're afraid of how they might react. But identifying if you have caused a narcissistic injury can help you to protect yourself. Which is why I have decided to share these eight signs with you. One, narcissistic rage. The most obvious sign you have caused a narcissistic injury is narcissistic rage. They will get very angry. They will insult you and put you down. They will say and do whatever they think will hurt you the most. In this state, they can be unpredictable. They can be very dangerous. They may throw things at you. They may damage your property. And they may even become physically violent. Two. Passive aggression. If the narcissist feels threatened by you, they will become passive aggressive. They will express their anger or annoyance indirectly in a way that is designed to hurt and confuse you. They will say something and then do something different. They will pretend to agree with you when they hold a different opinion because they're afraid of the consequences of expressing their anger directly towards you. Maybe they're worried that they might lose some of the conveniences that you're providing to them so instead they become passive aggressive. They push just to the edge of what you're willing to tolerate so that it's not enough for you to call them out on it. So that you don't have a firm conviction to disconnect from them, which enables them to continue their behavior. Three. Criticism. When the narcissist experiences a narcissistic injury, it's because they feel less valuable or important. But they don't want to reflect on these feelings. It's too painful for them to deal with. So instead, 
they try to put you beneath them by targeting your sense of worth. They do this by criticizing you, by indicating your faults in a disapproving way to make you feel like you're not good enough because that's exactly how they feel. But if they can put the focus on you, it makes them feel better. It makes them feel like they're not the problem. And that's what their criticism is designed to do. It's designed to deflect the focus onto you. It's designed to keep you looking at yourself. Because they don't want to feel like they're at fault. They don't like how it feels. And they don't want to do the work to change their dysfunctional behaviours. Four, opposition. When you have caused a narcissistic injury, the narcissist will immediately become oppositional to you. They will refuse to do what you want them to do. They will be very disruptive. If you pick up on any of their flaws, there has to be something wrong with you. You have to be wrong. Because they just can't accept that they're anything less than perfect. When you question or confront them, they feel like they're losing control. They feel like you're taking back your power. So to regain control of the situation, they become opposed to whatever you stand for. Even if they secretly agree with you, if it's unfavorable for them, they have to be in opposition to it. They will only agree with something if it benefits them. Five, silent treatment. Sometimes the only thing the narcissist can do is be silent. If they know that the situation doesn't warrant a certain reaction, they have no choice but to be quiet. They have to accept it. But the silent treatment is also designed to punish you. It's a control tactic. It's designed to make you question yourself. It's designed to make you feel like you've done something wrong. Six, triangulation. When you cause a narcissistic injury, it affects the narcissist's sense of worth. It makes them feel like they're not good enough. It makes them feel like they're at fault, which is something the narcissist doesn't want to accept. So they run from the situation. It may seem like they're running from you, but they're actually running from themselves. It may seem like they've found someone else, but they've actually just found someone who reflects back to them this ideal version of themselves.
Someone who validates their false self. Someone who supports the illusion. And this is what they then reflect back to you. It's meant to hurt you. It's meant to make you regret your decision. It's meant to make you blame yourself. Because now they're with someone else who doesn't see anything wrong with them. It might make you second guess yourself. It might make you think you made a mistake. But you didn't make a mistake. This new person has been manipulated by the narcissist. Just as you were when you first met them. They don't know what they're really like. But the narcissist will use this to hurt you. And make you feel like you're at fault. Seven. Victim playing. The narcissist will not take accountability for their actions. Instead, they will blame you. They will lie. They will make false accusations. They will exaggerate your faults and mistakes while minimizing or denying their own. This is how they evade accountability. This is how they avoid any consequences for their actions. By passing the blame onto someone else. By holding you accountable. And they do that by playing the victim. By acting as though you did something to them. They will often blame you for the very things that they caused. The very things that they did to you. It's projection. They disown the parts of themselves that they don't like and assign them to you. This is designed to make you question yourself. It's designed to make you take responsibility to correct the situation. while protecting the narcissist's fragile sense of self. Eight. Smear campaign. If you don't fall for the narcissist's victim playing, they believe that someone else will. So they manipulate other people. They show them the false character. In the hopes that they will buy into the illusion. They will tell them horrible things about you. They will bring up things that you confide in them. They will bring up things from the past. They will fabricate stories. They will say whatever they think will make you look bad. While acting as though they did the best they could. They try to help you. This is designed to punish you. For not complying with their agenda. And it's also designed to take the focus off of them. And all of the faults they made. Narcissists run from accountability. They don't want to deal with the shame. They don't want to deal with the consequences for their actions.
when you cause a narcissistic injury, it resurfaces everything that the narcissist tried to bury within, everything they despise about themselves, everything that they cannot control. When you cause a narcissistic injury, it may seem like the narcissist hates you, but they actually hate everything that you are resurfacing about themselves. That's what they're in opposition to. That's what they're running from. Because it's something they don't want to accept. It's something they don't want to deal with. But the truth is that when you cause an injury, it really has nothing to do with you. All they see is the ghost of everything they once were. Everything they hated about themselves. Everything they tried to hide. And nothing makes the narcissist angrier than that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.